Hi, this is how to make nipple cream for breastfeeding moms. I am Tina Monk. This is the recipe that I'm using in this video, um, but I did want to give you some different res uh, recipes, uh, variations, so you can decide what's best for you and your baby. The second one just doesn't have the coconut oil in it in case of any allergies. And this last one is only recommended for babies that are a little bit older. And from what I can tell from research, they're just saying that beeswax should not be used until the babies are a little bit older just for allergy sake. Now if you've seen the other videos in my Natural Baby Products series, you've seen how this is done. I put the butters in a jar in a pot of about one or two inches of water. And you always need to make sure you have a hot pad or a cloth or something underneath the jar so it doesn't break. And you just want to heat it on low heat until it completely melts. Now like I mentioned, the beeswax isn't supposed to be used until the baby is older. And because we're not using beeswax in this recipe, the cocoa butter is acting as the thickener. And I am using the infused olive oil with calendula and chamomile from the first video in this series. So if you need to know how to infuse your herbs into your oil, you can go back and watch that one. Calendula is a natural skin tonic which is why it's used a lot for baby products. And one thing I want to make sure that I stress is make sure to not use essential oils in your nipple cream or any of the baby products. Um, we don't want the baby to ingest any essential oils. And it's best to apply this in between feedings as needed, and you only need like a little bit. Yeah, you could also um, whip this after it cools a little bit to make it like a body butter. So you could use it, you know, as a baby lotion too. And, you know, there's all kinds of applications for this, not just nipple cream. You know, some of the, the the nipple creams that are actually on the market, they um, are a lanolin-based product, and I know a lot of people um, just don't want to use that. I mean, lanolin comes from sheep's wool, and you, you just don't know what's on it. So um, this is a, just a better natural version than what's in the stores, and it's a lot cheaper to make yourself. You know, as always with all these products, it's a money saver. So um, the cocoa butter does take a little bit more time to melt. Um, but when it's completely melted, you're just going to take it off the heat. And you're going to stir just to make sure that it's all combined really well. And then you're just going to... Pour it into um, whatever jars you have available. I have these little four ounce jars here. So this um, filled about three of the four ounce jars. And it does take quite a while for cocoa butter to set back up. So um, to speed this up, you can put these in the refrigerator and then um, let them, you know, everything sit back up so that it's usable. If you have any questions about anything, um, just leave a comment below. And you can also um, ask in my Facebook group, Soap Making and Business Coaching. My baby um, is due <laughs> in the next week or two, so um, I will be on there as much as I possibly can. I did want to show you the consistency. This is after it is set up. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and check out the other videos in this Natural Baby Products series.